The 27 members of the House of Assembly led by Martin Namawule has commenced the repeal of the 1999 Commission of Inquiry Law Cap 30 of the Old River State. The legislative process was initiated by the lawmakers following the decision of the state government to set up a Judiciary Commission of Inquiry to probe the arson and destruction of the local government secretariat during the post-election violence. The Commission had invited the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Nyeson Wike, and the All Progressive Congress APC Caretaker Committee, Chief Tony Okocha, but both the Minister and Party Chairman shunned the panel. The bill was sponsored by the trio of the uh, Deputy Speaker Dumle Maul, Member representing Akukutoru Constituency 2, Lolo Opuende, and the Member representing Umuma Constituency, Silvanus Wanko. Leading the debate on the bill, Wanko said the obsolete laws were repealed and reenacted to reflect current democratic realities. Other lawmakers who contributed to the bill said it would strengthen the principle of separation of powers and demonstrate undemocratic ethos in the state. Mr. Speaker, we are seeking to repeal this law and to reenact the revised provisions of inquiry law for the holding of provisions of inquiry and of other matters when they present. Mr. Speaker, for the police, the bill in question is brought forward to the inherent powers of this honorable house and as it shrined in sections 100, sections 5, subsection 2a, and section 128 of the 99 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as offered an amendment. Mr. Speaker, when as a fair which law was made, remember that there was no actual functional democracy. We do not have the democratic principle of separation of powers, where we had an independent legislature, an independent judiciary, and an independent executive act. The executive was practically doing the job of the legislature and of course of the judiciary in most cases. Today we have a functional democracy with capital arms of government, three arms of government, the executive, the judiciary, the legislature, doing what they are supposed to do. If we continue to go by this law, Mr. Speaker, it means that we as a legislature are not recognizing the principles of separation of power, of course, the doctrine of checks and balances. I am particularly happy, Mr. Speaker, that this bill will bring us out from the archaic age to the present age, making us one of the legislatures in the states around the country who are trying to upgrade obsolete laws, making laws that are in tune with modern day realities. Amarole said the bill will make provisions for a tripartite engagement between the governor, the assembly, and the commission to be set up so that powers were not abused by any individual. We can have a brand new law for River State, one that reflects separation of powers, one that will pave way for an independent commission of inquiry that will do their job and come up with something that will be good for this state whenever they are given that task. And the good thing is that there is a clause in this bill that calls on the governor to reach out to the assembly whenever the commission of inquiry makes their recommendations and that the governor should not go ahead to on his own begin to implement all that any commission of inquiry may ask him to do. So what this bill seeks to do is to ensure that the tripartite touch between the commission and the governor and as well as the assembly is ensured for the interest of the good people of River State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.